Hey everyone, today I'm diving into the twisted and captivating world of Doki Doki Literature Club. You know, that seemingly innocent visual novel that takes a hard left into psychological horror. Yeah, that one. So what makes Doki Doki Literature Club so special? First glance, it's your typical dating sim. You've got the cheerful Sayori, the shy Yuri, the bubbly Natsuki and the enigmatic Monica, but there's so much more beneath the surface. The game starts off light-hearted with cute interactions and poetry writing, but brace yourselves because things get dark pretty quickly. Sayori's sudden and tragic departure is the first major twist that rocks the players. It's a stark reminder that this game is not what it seems. Then the game starts to break the fourth wall. Monica, who's initially just another character, reveals her true nature. She's aware that she's in a game and starts manipulating the code to eliminate her competition. It's a mind-bending experience that makes you question the nature of reality and control. One of the most fascinating aspects is how the game plays with your expectations. It lures you in with its cute aesthetic and then hits you with intense psychological horror. It's a genius move that keeps you on the edge of your seat, constantly second-guessing what's going to happen next. The themes in Doki Doki Literature Club are deep and dark. It tackles issues like mental health, free will, and the nature of reality. It's not just a game, it's a commentary on how we interact with media and the illusion of choice. And let's not forget the music. The soundtrack shifts from light and airy to ominous and haunting, perfectly matching the game's tone and adding to the overall experience. So if you haven't played Doki Doki Literature Club yet, give it a try. But remember, it's not for the faint of heart, and for those who've already experienced it, what was your most shocking moment? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and stay awesome.